Good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 11, verses 27 and 28. Let's hear it. As he said these things, as Jesus said them, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breasts at which you nursed. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Uh, it doesn't seem like, you know, Jesus is the kind of guy that wants to pour cold water all over something, but here he's, he's bringing up the more important piece, right? So she says, yes, it would be wonderful to, be, to have been your mother. It would be wonderful to raise you and, and have this closer walk with you in that, in that motherly sense. Of course it would. But Jesus said, keeping God's word is the blessed thing. So it's open to all of us, men and women. And you know what? The keeping of God's word is the greater blessing, even greater than, than being giving birth and being a mother to a child or being a father to a child. The most blessed peace is being able to have God's word, hear the word of God, and keep it. So I guess that's kind of where we are today is hearing the word of God and keeping it. Hearing the word of God and keeping it. That's the issue. Where, How are we going about and truly hearing the true word of God. How are we making sure that happens? Are we reading our Bible day by day? Are we, uh, are we studying day by day? Are we starting the day with the scriptures? Are we starting the day with prayer? Are we attending a local church somewhere where the word of God is preached, preached faithfully? You know what, if you're not doing that, there's something for you to do in this new year. Find the church, find a space where God's word is truly being preached, where people are seeking to be faithful to the commands of God, to the ways of the king, to the word. And because that's what we have here. Blessed are the ones that, that hear the word of God and keep it. So if you have the word of God, you must deliver the word of God because people need to hear the word of God. And once it's been delivered, you and I, we need to have nothing, we've got nothing to say except, yes, Lord, yes, sir. We want to obey that word and be transformed by the power of the living Christ. May he be part of your life and transform you and me. Something to pray about just now. Dear Father in heaven, as we are thinking of this, this urgent, urgent, urgent necessity and urgent line that we must hear the word of God and then we must keep it. Help us, Lord, because our hands are slippery and, and a lot of times we, we fail at the first part. We don't hear the word of God. Lord, help us in this year to hear the word of God. And then, of course, there's something to be kept. So bless, we pray in this way. And we thank you for hearing our request. We humbly ask for this, Lord, not for our own goodness, but because Jesus is good. And this is a gift from Jesus to us. Please, please, Lord, in Jesus' name we ask. Amen. May God bless you as you hear the word and keep it.